Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. So today I'll be showing you guys my collection of electronic reptiles. Check them out right here, okay? So yeah, this is my entire collection. I'm going to show you guys the new reptiles, the electronic versions with sound and lights. And later on, I'll just show you guys every single reptile figurine in my collection, okay? So let's get right into it. Alright, so let's begin by taking a look at this electronic crocodile. Yeah, I think it should be a crocodile because the snot is actually quite triangular. Okay, so let me turn this on. Okay, you can put this right over here. There's a button, you know, um, right here. When you press it, it will actually roar. Okay, but that is just for the roars, okay? When you press it, the eyes will actually light up as well, okay? But we have a remote control right over here. Can you guys see that? It will actually move and the eyes will actually light up, which is kind of cool. You can even move it backwards like this. It's kind of adorable, I must say. Yeah, it looks really, really cute. So that's our first electronic figure of the day. You can actually press this button to make it stop. Okay, because it can get pretty loud and annoying if it keeps going on. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. This is actually a um, fruit neck lizard. I think this one is really, really beautiful. Um, you can see the eyes are actually very, very beautiful. It doesn't have any sounds or lights, but it can actually move. Check this out. And it can run pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, it's super adorable. Check this out again. Yeah, so this is our fruit neck lizard, okay? It's really, really adorable, I must say. Okay, so let's pause this. Let's move on to our next electronic figure. So I want you guys to let me know as well. Do you guys prefer me to do more videos of electronic, you know, reptiles and animals? I think if you guys want me to do that, I would definitely source for more, okay? Let's um, turn this on. Where's the switch for this? right here so this is actually a slithering snake wow check this out it can actually move quite fast but it can get it can get kind of um, annoying and loud because the sounds are really really loud but it can really move really fast check this out yeah it's a really really cool one all right so let's pause this. So basically, we only have three electronic reptiles so far. A crocodile, an iguana, I mean not an iguana, a fruit neck lizard, and a slithering snake. Next up, I'm going to show you guys my collection of reptilian figures, okay? I think many of you guys could have seen them before. I have quite a huge collection. In fact, we have two boxes right here. This box actually contains some really beautiful snakes and this one actually contains some really nice lizards. Okay, so let me put this box away. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here because we are going to display it in a very beautiful manner so that we can take a, like a nice thumbnail later on, okay? So let me put this nicely. So let's go! Okay, right here we have a really beautiful crocodile figure. I think we got this like oh, you know pretty recently. It's a nice figure to have, definitely. Alright, let me put this right over here. I'll move the lights back so that we have more space. So that's a beautiful crocodile. Next up, we have a Komodo dragon. Guys, have you seen this? This is a really beautiful Komodo dragon. Alright. And do you guys know that Komodo dragons, their bites are actually super deadly. If animals are being beaten by Komodo dragons, they'll get infected and they will pass. They will die pretty soon, like in a couple of hours time. Next, we have a less vicious, you know, reptile. I mean, it is not vicious at all. It's not deadly. This is an iguana. They're quite harmless to humans. They don't attack humans. Um, they can camouflage themselves really well. Next. I have a really beautiful lizard. This is actually known as the um, bearded dragon, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, bearded dragon. It basically gets its name from the beard pouch that it has. I'll put this right over here. Another um, crocodile figure. I think this one is actually more or less the same as um, 
this is a crocodile let me just you know take a look at the name just to be sure yeah it is a crocodile and this one is just with a different paint scheme it's a huge figure for sure next let me show you guys um, a king cobra this is actually from my collection as well it's a really beautiful one um, yeah like what I've mentioned previously cobras there are at least like 270 species out there and another fruit neck lizard this one is actually quite um, similar to um, the one that you have seen just that it doesn't have any sounds uh, we got this figure a couple of months back it's a pretty nice figure it looks kind of realistic as well and another really beautiful lizard this is actually known as a colored lizard you can see it has like different stripes different spots really really beautiful looking i love it another um this should be known as the um um haunt lizard if i'm not wrong we have two of them this is another one yeah this is also a horn lizard so you can see the body are the body is actually covered with horns and spikes let me put them together okay let me take a look at another snake what do we have i think this is an anokandar um um yeah green anaconda right over here deadly snake put this right over here and here we have an alligator all right an alligator let me put this at the back we also have a white alligator what alligator i think this figure has been with me for many years what alligators they have a lower rate of survival because of the colors because they can't camouflage you know well so it's quite easily you know recognizable all right let me move our camera backwards so that have more space for you guys to actually see another what is this do you guys think this is an alligator or a crocodile i think it should be an alligator i think so I i'm not too sure because the snot isn't like you know really narrow this is a really beautiful one this is actually known as a um, veiled chameleon i'll put this right over here you can see it is really beautiful when it, when it comes to the colors and it has a super long tongue that can stick out and um, grab hold of um, prey this is actually a baby version okay a baby version of the veiled chameleon really beautiful as well this is actually known as the the thorny devil thorny dragon you can also call it a, a thorny devil it basically has a thick head it's known as a frost head so uh, when it encounters you know like a predator they will actually hide their real head exposing this you know to uh, you know sort of like distract the um predator here we have a Nile crocodile right here a beautiful crocodile um this figure has been with me for like a long time as well um this one i think is a salt water crocodile which is the biggest reptilian species on earth at the moment and they have the largest bite force i have no idea what this is called it's basically known as a chameleon but i think this is known known as the haunt chameleon if i'm not wrong put this right over here another komodo dragon figure yeah i love komodo dragons i mean if you guys don't know i'm a huge fan of dinosaurs and komodo dragons they actually remind me of um dinosaurs this is a caiman um i've seen plenty of them at my local zoo they are quite a small size of um you know crocodile they are basically like this this length maybe like three three to four feet long at most yeah pretty small crocodile this is an american alligator they walk like dinosaurs i remember watching a video of a alligator walking past a golf course a golf field and it was like walking like a monster because it was really huge and walking on all four legs that were like really elevated so it looks very very uh, magnificent i must say here's another bad bearded dragon um this one i think it should be a crocodile let's move on to our snakes okay and some of our you know tortoises and stuff uh there's another komodo dragon okay and um let's see what else we've got we have another cobra this one is actually a smaller figure a really beautiful one and this figure is quite a um, new addition to my collection it is actually the giant tortoise beautiful one and this is actually a sidewinder rattlesnake all right 
We have another really beautiful snake. This is actually a boa constrictor. Yep, destroyed. They can actually swallow birds and little animals on its hole. <laughs> very, very impressive. They will strangle them, they just swallow them. And speaking of um, um, con boa, we have another one, which is an Amazon tree boa right over here. This snake actually looks very, very realistic. Okay. This is a red ear slider. Yeah, red ear slider. A beautiful... Uh, they can be kept as beautiful pets. I have two of them at, um, at my home. And here's another tortoise. And um, this is actually a desert tortoise. I have two of them. The exact same figure. Because I bought the wrong one, I thought they are different. So I, I, I bought them and uh, yeah, it's kind of like regretted it as well. For this cobra, we have two that are quite similar, but they are actually from different brands. Okay, this one is also um, a king cobra, really beautiful. As I mentioned, king cobra, some of them can spit venom, which is um, very, very deadly. This is a brown snake, which is a kind of a um, snake native to Australia. Alright, what do we have right here? I think this should be a giant tortoise. And this one, uh, let's see, what is this? Pintar Island Tortoise. So there are different species of tortoise around. I think the Pintar Island Tortoise was once thought to be extinct. This is a corn snake, a beautiful orangey snake right over here. And this is actually known as an um, albino Burmese python. You can see it's very light colored. Okay, it is basically, it has some pigmentation um, differences. We have two black Hoyt snake, which I think is supposed to be the same. I can't remember the species of um this snake right here. And um, we have a rough tree green snake, which looks very, very realistic as well. They are very bright in color. If you flip it over, you can see the body below is actually yellow. And a really beautiful one, which is a coral snake baby. Yeah, so basically, this is my reptiles collection. It will definitely be expanding, so stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.